You can auto refine your prompts to search the web with Prompt Perfect GPT, and I'm gonna give you three simple examples. The first one is in our boilerplate prompts right here. Just click search for the latest announcement from OpenAI. This prompt will be sent to Prompt Perfect. It'll be refined for searching the web. Then you'll see here, it'll use Bing to search for the latest announcements, and it'll serve those to us. At the top of the response, you'll see our refined prompt. This was turned into this more detailed and contextual prompt, and then it is answered below with reference links. So, new models and developer products at Dev Day in November, partnership with Microsoft, GPTs, and feature additions and price reductions. And they'll all come with specific links that were sourced by the GPT. And then we also have the fun leadership board changes here. At the end of the prompt, you'll get these numbers where you can just simply type one, two, or three and enter, and it'll continue the conversation. But I'd like to try out a different prompt. I want to buy used t-shirts for men in the US. Search the web for the best sites. So with the new GPT, you don't need any trigger action. It will send every prompt to Prompt Perfect to enhance it. And then in this case, it will do that and then search with Bing. At the top here, we'll see the refined prompt. You can also click here for the search that it did. So if you open that up, it'll show you the search in Bing. And then below, we can see Good Fair, eBay, Goodwill Finds with respective links to where they found it or the site. Also, for each prompt that's refined, you'll get this recommended next prompts. The third one, I want to show how you could search for jobs. I'm looking for a copywriter role. Please find some on the web that are remote. It will take this, it'll refine the prompt, and then it'll search the web for these specific roles. You can click on the links here to actually see the search and go through yourself. And it pulled them from Indeed and Glassdoor for us with a little context. There's a lot you can explore here. These are just a few simple use cases. If you have more questions, you can put a comment below. See you next time.